Dear students, please note down. The PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. Dear students, in today's lecture, we will discuss respiratory system of pigeon columba livia. Today, the lecture we will discuss respiratory system of pigeon columba livia. And this entire respiratory system is divided into two parts. First part is respiratory tract and second part of this system that is respiratory organs. First part that is respiratory tract and this respiratory tract consists of following parts. A pair of external nares or nostrils. These are simple slit like apertures and these a pair of slit like apertures present on the upper beak. Second part of the respiratory tract, a pair of olfactory sacs or nasal chambers. These are a pair of small sac-like structures present in the nasal capsule of the skull. Third part, internal nares. The olfactory sacs or nasal chambers open internally in the buccopharyngeal cavity by a pair of slit like apertures and these internal openings of olfactory sacs are named internal nares. Next part is that is glottis. This small aperture is glottis which opens in this chamber it is larynx it means the glottis is an opening of larynx. The next part of this respiratory system that is larynx. In case of pigeon, in case of birds, this larynx, it is greatly reduced. As in case of mammals, in case of human beings, this larynx sound producing organ, it, it is well developed. But in case of birds, the larynx is not, not down, it is not a sound producing organ as in this larynx no vocal cords the membranous folds which involve in the sound production the vocal cords are absent in case of pigeon in case of birds while in case of man mammals in this larynx the sound producing organ the vocal cords are present it means this greatly greatly reduced structure in pigeon it doesn't involve in sound production and this larynx leads in this long tubular structure this one is trachea not down in case of birds in case of pigeon this entire trachea the windpipe that is well supported by complete bony rings but in case of mammals in case of human beings this entire trachea it is well supported by incomplete c-shaped cartilaginous rings but in case of this columba livia in case of birds this entire trachea is well supported by complete bony rings not cartilaginous rings these are bony complete rings and this trachea leads into a very important organ and this part is syrinx it is sound producing organ in case of birds in case of pigeon the syrinx that is terminal part of this trachea and this sound producing organ this is the structure of trachea sound producing organ syrinx and primary bronchi the syrinx that is valves covered by external tympaniform membrane as well as internally it is lined by internal tympaniform membrane and this syrinx its internal lining this tympaniform membrane anteriorly it produces a membranous fold and this conical membranous fold is membrana semilunaris 
and this membrana semilunaris is well supported by internally a cartilage is there and this cartilage it is named passulus very important structure for final exam that is structure of syrinx in case of pitcher this is the sound producing organ and its internal lining that is tympaniform membrane and this internal tympaniform tympaniform membrane anteriorly it produce a membranous fold this one is membrana semilunaris and this semilunaris is well supported by a cartilage that is passulus no down posteriorly this sound producing organ that is syrinx that gives a pair of fine branches and these structures are primary bronchi and these pro primary bronchi lead into the respiratory organ as we know in case of pigeon the entire respiratory system is divided into two parts respiratory tract and respiratory organs the lungs are respiratory organs in these lungs primary bronchi divide and redivide to produce a network and that network is named bronchial intercom dear students note down these lungs are pinkish in color compact spongy structures and these lungs consist of structural and functional units named lung alveoli which are highly vascular well surrounded by blood capillaries as well as in case of pigeon these respiratory organs the lungs associate with some additional balloon like air sacs in case of birds these additional air sacs act as reservoir of air in case of pigeon these are nine additional air sacs not down dear students these are nine balloon like air sacs out of these four are paired and this median air sac is unpaired these balloon like structures or air sacs which store air these are air reservoirs this median air sac is it is interclavicular air sac it is unpaired this is the only air sac which is unpaired this one is interclavicular air sac and this interclavicular air sac gives two branches one is clavicular air sac in armpits and another branches that is extra clavicular air sac that gives humeral air sac in this humerus bone of forelimb then a pair of cervical air sacs these are large irregular shaped air sacs present in this neck region in the anterior thoracic region a pair of anterior thoracic air sacs are present in the posterior thoracic region a pair of posterior thoracic air sacs are present and in case of abdomen in this abdominal region between the coils of intestine small intestine these additional a pair of abdominal air sacs are present which act as cooling agents temperature regulators the mechanism of breathing at the time of inspiration fresh air enters in the lungs as well as, as well as in these additional air sacs or balloons through 
the respiratory tract at the time of expiration the foul air that is removed from the lungs through the respiratory tract during inspiration these additional air sacs also receive fresh air but not down at the time of expiration these additional air sacs which do not involve in exchange of gases but they pass their fresh air into the lungs it means in case of pigeon in case of birds the lungs re always receive fresh air at the time of inspiration as well as at the time of expiration at the time of inspiration fresh air comes from outside at that time these additional air sacs also receive fresh air gases exchange takes place only in the lungs because in lungs the structural and functional units these are lung alveoli these are highly vascular structures but these additional air sacs simple these are balloons which act as reservoir of air sacs which do not involve in gases exchange during inspiration these balloons they get filled with air and at the time of expiration the fresh air which is present in these air sacs pass in the lungs it means both times these lungs receive fresh air at the time of inspiration as well as at the time of expiration this is all about respiratory system of pigeon that entire system is divided into two parts respiratory tract and respiratory lungs in the respiratory tract a pair of external nares which are present on upper beak in the nasal capsule of skull a pair of olfactory sacs or nasal chambers are present and these nasal chambers open internally in the buccopharyngeal cavity by a pair of internal nares the next part is glottis it is an opening of this larynx the larynx is greatly reduced in case of pigeon which doesn't involve in sound production as no vocal cords in larynx then the trachea this tubular structure it is well spotted by complete bony rings and the trachea the terminal part of this trachea possesses a sound producing organ which is very important for all competitive exams this sound producing organ it is syrinx and this syrinx this is the structure of syrinx it is well covered by the lining of external tympaniform membrane and internally internal tympaniform membrane this internal tympaniform membrane gives rise a membranous fold in the anterior region or the cavity the lumen, lumen of this syrinx that is tympanum and this membranous fold is membrana semilunaris which is well supported by a cartilage that is basculus then a pair of primary bronchi and these primary bronchi divide and redivide in lungs to produce a bronchial intercom dear students these are a pair of respiratory organs which are lungs it means in case of pigeon the respiration is pulmonary that respiration takes place through lungs as well as in case of birds or pigeon additional air sacs associate with the respiratory system and these additional air sacs are nine in pigeon one is this median is unpaired while the four air sacs are paired and these additional air sacs balloons which act as reservoir of air sacs which do not involve in gaseous exchange but at the time of inspiration these air sacs get filled with fresh air and the fresh air is passed in the lungs at the time of expiration means at the time of inspiration as well as at the time of expiration the lungs receive fresh air 
dear students this is all about respiratory system in case of pigeon and tomorrow's lecture we will discuss circulatory system heart of pigeon